Uh, we're in another portion of Monty's backyard on the 8th of April, and it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. The sun is just now coming up for a, a supposed beautiful day, maybe some rain this afternoon. But these roses, if you compare these to the ones we just had pictures of with uh, the different rootstock, these are on Dr. Huey rootstock. And when you buy a rose from one of the uh, national uh, producer of roses like Weeks Roses or Star Roses or Jackson and Perkins, they graft their roses on Dr. Huey rootstock. And so consequently, they have a crown, and this crown can be put beneath the ground to protect the rose from winter damage. And so these were planted differently, but we did not spray the canes of these roses with uh, the Monty's 215-15 orange label root and bloom material. And so consequently, if you look at them, many of them don't have any strong canes, or they have a couple of canes. If you were to look at this particular rose here, we thought in February when we cut it back, these canes here were, going to be, were green and were gonna be fine. But between then and today, they've shown the damage that winter did to them and nothing's coming out of them. So that's the comparison I'm trying to show you. And so now we're going to head to another person's garden where she has roses that we uh, very deliberately tried to protect her roses with the applicator nozzle and Monty's 215-15. And we haven't been there since we cut them back uh, in mid-February, so I don't know what we're going to find. So it'll be kind of interesting to see if what we did to protect them over winter worked in her yard the same as it worked on my Fortuniana rooted roses in my yard. Thanks for going with me now.